What is up, YouTube? I hope you can hear me well. I'm a little far from the mic right now, but that's because we have a massive product to open today on the channel. We're gonna be opening this Costco exclusive Eevee and Pokeball Tim collection. And since it's so big, we had to do a different camera angle for the intro, but now we're gonna take all the contents out. Bam, just like that, it's all open. Today we're gonna be looking at the whole product, but we're gonna be opening specifically the Pokeball tin and the Luxury Ball tin. And then we're gonna to switch to a regular camera angle right now so we can do a regular unboxing. As usual, we're gonna to try to keep this video short. So this EV tin right here, it's a really cool tin, is gonna to be used for next Sunday's video. And then for this week's video, we're gonna be using the two Pokeball tins. That way it doesn't take too long. So it does come with these beautiful EV promos. I'm actually a really big fan of collecting EV promos specifically. I think they're cool. It's kind of like Pikachu promos. It's like unique. It's nice. And these ones specifically are very, very cute. I don't want to damage these cards taking them out. So I might just break the box. There we go. Number two. And... Oh, that could have gone better, but not a big deal. There's EV number three. Honestly, this one's the coolest. I love the way he's walking. And it's a super bright background. I'm interested to know which promo do you all prefer? EV promos or Pikachu promos? Personally, I like EV more. All right, I do think the Pokeball is cooler, so we're gonna get started with the Luxury Ball. I did want to go ahead and mention, not that it's that big of a deal, but I've been noticing that every time we record and when we post the video, usually I'll have a list in some sort of section of the video. I just want to say it's not actually me, it's just the mic and the software that we've been using. Oh, in order to keep the mic muted. So, already spoiled the surprise, but these are D21 tins, luckily meaning that they should each have a Cosmic Eclipse pack inside of them. As you can see, they come pretty bent out of shape, but hopefully the cards inside are still beautiful. Dragonite tin seems to be pretty standard lately in these Pokeball tins. Everybody seems to have a Dragonite. All right, and here is the Pokeball tin. It's the Luxury Ball, of course, and it's really cool. Obviously, I burst it open earlier, but now you can see the whole thing. All right, we're gonna get started with Rebel Trash. This set is absolute dog water. Nothing good ever comes out of it. But regardless, just gonna keep pushing. Lightning energy? Close. <laughs> so I've been going to the research lab a lot. I've been working at a research lab recently. And one of my, I guess, coworkers, the whole picture verse hollow, gave me his old bike. And so today I had to bring it home because it was stuck over there. And almost got killed like 10 times because people have been crazy on the road recently. There's the code card. This is a Vivid Voltage pack. Super stoked to have a bike again. Haven't had one in a while, but it'll be helpful sometimes if I need to get to the lab quickly. Don't want to bring my car along. We have a Kuchiena, Rockruff, Oshawa Reverse Hollow, and Quagsire Non Hollow 042. But well, let's keep that speed going with our Cosmic Eclipse pack. This is the most exciting pack we've gotten to open in a while. You can see I'm so excited. I'm just taking apart every single piece of this pack. But if y'all don't know, you can get character rares in this set. Now, I think you're supposed to pull the pack straight up. Oh, no. I have to flip it around. But the character rares are in the reverse hollow spot, if I'm not mistaken. So we still could have one. Water Energy. And there's some really sick character rares in this set. And they're bringing out more character rares in the new Brilliant Stars set, I'm pretty sure. So I'm excited to see those. Let's see. First Ring of Verse Hollow and Pile of Sand. Pile of Sand, exactly that. Moving right into the Pokeball tin. I know it's just the classic Pokeball, but I think like I like simplistic objects. And so this makes it so much more special for me than like a luxury ball or a quick ball because it's just the original and the camera doesn't even do it justice but 
you know, they're metallic and the color is beautiful on them. All right, let's see. We have our three packs, Squished in there, Cosmic Eclipse, Rebel Trash, and Vivid Voltage. So same packs, luckily, and the same old Dragonite coin. Look at that huge piece of plastic sticking out. Great quality control they got going on there. So if you all have been tuning in to our live streams, we just finished, my brother just finished the his black randomizer, Nuzlocke. And I will spoil the ending. It was a success. If you haven't watched the last episode, you definitely should. It was awesome. Beat the Elite Four, the champion. Uh, gets this and N. So super exciting. It went super well, much better than we could have expected. We were super stressed out before it, but excited to get that over with. We're gonna have more streams coming out, hopefully some new games. Let us know if you have any suggestions for what games we should do in the future. We were considering doing maybe some ROM packs. And by we, I do mean my brother because I'm very bad at games. Um, another option would be to do some Pokemon Showdown matches, maybe against friends or against subscribers, viewers even. And that'd be kind of exciting. We have a Shuppet, Kuchiena, Voltorb, Rockruff, Xerneas Reverse Hollow Rare, and Dusknor Hollow. All right, I mean, it's a hit, can't complain. Our last Cosmic Eclipse pack, and I guess the last pack in general. Hopefully we get something good to finish off this video. Um, if y'all haven't seen this product before, it is a Costco exclusive. And we do have one more Costco exclusive product, which is that mini tin collection over there. We bought them a couple months ago. I'm gonna flip it this time. Oh, okay, there we go. So we did buy them a couple months ago and we have been sort of sitting on them, hoarding them, whatever. We only have one of each, but since we didn't have an idea for a specific upload, waiting for the new set to come out, we decided we could upload this today, hopefully be an entertaining video. And as mentioned, the collector chest will be open next time. If you guys do want to see this mini tin collection, which I think is really cool, let us know down below. We are planning to do it in the future. It's just a pretty, pretty big product. Alone Vulpix Reverse Hollow, meaning no character rare, and... Ugh, Braviary non hollow. Since this is our Sunday upload and we tend to try to make them a little bit bigger than our Wednesday uploads, we're gonna throw one more extra pack in there. Nothing crazy, but it is celebrations. So I just wanna get a good hit for this video. Still hunting down basically every card in this collection. We've gotten way too many repeats to finish off the set properly. Uh, I guess I can flip it over, code card. But no luck with this set. We're still looking for Gold Mew, Shining Magikarp. Charizard, Umbreon, I guess that's about it, but... All right, we have Reshiram, Flying Pikachu V, and... Ugh, Cosmog, always Cosmog. So I just want to show you guys that this is actually a real genuine uh, Pokemon card. You see you have the graphite layer in between. Uh, that was the point of this, it's actually informational and not aggressive, as you may have thought. That was a really cool product. I love the pack selections from the tins. Mostly happy to just get these tins, because I got one of those display boxes from Target a couple weeks ago. I got an empty one because I came too late to restock day and it was just empty. But I asked them to play if I could grab it. So I want to fill that out. I already have the Pokeball, the Luxury Ball, and we have the Premier Ball. So now we just need three more. I think it's like the Great Ball, Quick Ball, and something else. But the pull rates were not that good on these packs. We have the promos at least. We have the tins to take home. And we have the one Dusk Nor Hollow. Of course, we do have the Flying Pikachu V from the extra celebration pack we threw in. We had a great time opening this product, even with the lack of hits. I hope y'all enjoyed the video just as much as we did recording it. And of course, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, it really helps out the channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, uh, we really do appreciate it if you do so. We'll be opening the rest of the contents of the Costco box in next Sunday's video. So stay tuned for that. The collector chest seems really cool. And we'll see you in the next one.